Today's video goes straight over the most recent political clash, as well as an announcement regarding a financial windfall that has the potential to put a significant amount of money in your pocket. To ensure that you remain on the edge of your seat during the twists, turns, and shocks that are coming, stay tuned. Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various economic stimulus packages. I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you that we have some very exciting news to share with you today. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? Be prepared to hear some wonderful news because millions of us might soon discover some additional cash arriving in our pockets, all thanks to the recently planned stimulus payments from the government. There is a possibility that this will happen very soon. I am your host, and today we are going to get deeply into the specifics of these proposed payments, including eligibility requirements, specifics on how to claim them, and a great deal more. The trip to financial relief is going to be an exciting one, so let's get started on it. Right off the bat, let's have a conversation about the proposed amounts of the stimulus payments and the eligibility requirements. Imagine this. If you are receiving Social Security benefits such as retirement, you could be eligible to receive one-time relief payments for up to $5,500. Supplemental Security Income, SSDI, or if you were receiving payments from the Department of Veterans Affairs. To add insult to injury, older citizens have the opportunity to get an additional $200 on top of that amount. Imagine the possibilities that would be available if the prices of essentials such as gasoline, groceries, and rent continued to skyrocket. It is a breath of fresh air that this stimulus money is being provided to individuals and families across the nation, as it is bringing relief that is desperately needed. Now that you've heard this, you might be asking just what is included in these suggested payments. You need not be concerned because I have you covered. We will go into the specifics, including qualifying requirements, how these checks are different from previous stimulus programs, when they might be distributed, how to claim your check, even if you haven't paid your taxes, additional measures for senior citizens to obtain their bonuses, and a uh, great deal more. You should remain here, since you do not want to miss out on this important information. Let's begin with the proposed amounts of the stimulus payments and the eligibility requirements. It's time to get the scoop. For each qualifying adult, the maximum payout that is being suggested is a staggering $5,500 with an additional $200 being added for older citizens who are receiving assistance from the government. Legislation known as the Family Relief Stimulus Check Act, which was introduced on February 27, 2023, is the source of these payments. It should come as no surprise that the objective is to enable individuals who are in most need of financial assistance to be eligible for the full $5,500 in stimulus funds. It is necessary for individuals to fulfill certain income requirements, possess a social security number that is still active, and be receiving at least one of the benefits that are listed. Because of these eligibility restrictions, families with middle incomes and low incomes are guaranteed to receive the assistance that they so sorely seek. But hold on, there's more to come. If you choose to include dependents on your tax return, you should, for example, youngsters under the age of 17 they will also be eligible for subsidies. When it comes to families who are struggling to make ends meet in these difficult times, this situation is a win-win situation. At this point, let's discuss the ways in which these stimulus checks are different from previous programs. These new payments, in contrast to past relief laws such as the CARES Act in 2020, are aimed at more particular groups of individuals. These groups include older citizens, disabled individuals, veterans, 
low-income households, and families that are providing financial support for children who are dependent on them. The Family Relief Stimulus Check Act borrows $370 billion from the general budget of the federal government over the course of the fiscal years 2023 and 2024. These changes are a reflection of the continuous pressures that vulnerable groups and seniors with fixed incomes are experiencing as a result of growing expenditures. To what extent, however, would these stimulus checks of HOR 5,500 truly be distributed? Oh, that is the question that is worth a million dollars. As of the beginning of March 2023, the law is still required to overcome a number of obstacles, such as receiving approval from congressional committees and receiving a vote of approval from a majority of members in both the House and the Senate. If all goes according to plan, we could be able to see these payments arriving in April or May of 2023. Moving through the current political scene, on the other hand, presents its own unique set of difficulties. Do not be concerned, however, because there is genuine support from both parties for providing this much required financial assistance to those who are in need. Let's move on to the next topic, which is how you can receive your $5,500 payout even if you have not filed your tax taxes. Although this is a problem that many people have, you need not worry about it because it is still possible to receive money even if you do not file your taxes. The Internal Revenue Service and the Social Security Administration will work together to ensure that qualified recipients receive automatic payments based on the information that is already available. In spite of this, it is always a good idea to make sure that your personal information is up to date in order to speed up the process of making a payment. There you have it. A whirlwind of legislators who are pressing for changes to the social security reform system. It is very evident that the moment has come for us to make a change and we must provide support to those who are working for an increase. Nevertheless, let's not stop there, shall we? To ensure that our elected leaders are held accountable, it is up to us. In the event that they do not agree with the direction that Social Security is headed, it is possible that it is time to show them the door. However, this is not merely a political play. Rather, it is a real-life saga that is touching millions of people in the United States. To seniors, disabled workers, and widows alike, Social Security is not only a line item in a budget. Rather, it is a promise that resonates with them. At this point in time, it is necessary to